Hello, my name is Ugnus, I'm a pianist educator and welcome to my channel Piano Talent TV. Recently I have been working on a few pieces that included quite a few trills. Those were the Haydn Variations in F and the famous Liszt Hungarian Rhapsody number no. 12. So yeah, in today's video I would like to talk about trills, different practice methods and how to get better at it. Basically, each trill, although it's not being notated, has to have a specific amount of notes and every time you play that trill, it has to be pretty much the same in its length. The amount of notes in the trill will depend on the length of the trilling note and on the general speed of the piece or that specific note. Here are a few examples of the trills. I counted the amount of notes so that you can see how it would look on a paper if they were notated versus the original. Once you know the amount of notes in your trill, organize them in groups and try to practice one group at a time, step by step making them into larger groups. So if the trill has 12 notes in it, start practicing in groups of two at first, then groups of four, then you could do groups of six, and then groups of 12. You can also divide it into groups of three, and then groups of six, and then play it as 12. The next exercise would need accentuating certain notes of each group. For example, if you have four groups of four notes, totaling 16 notes per trill, then practice accentuating the first of each group, then the second of each group, then the third one, and then the fourth one. Don't forget to include the momentum of your wrist so kind of this rotation movement. Now, if your trill consists of non-even numbers, say 11, you can still make these groups up, but this time it might be two times four plus three. Again, practice in the same way, accentuating the first one, the second one, the third one, and then the last one. Also, don't forget the usual practice ways like rhythms, staccato, pairing in groups of two as well will help. You can practice by emphasizing the rotation movement of your wrist as well. The next practice exercise is when you have to play the primary note while ignoring the second note of the trill. This will help you to establish the exact timing of the trill when playing hands together. So these are a few examples where this practice method could easily be adopted.
Try to experiment with different types of fingerings. One, two, two, three, one, three, two, four, three, five. I personally find one, three, one, four, and two, three the best because I can easily incorporate the rotation of my wrist movement into the trill. That's it for today. I hope you enjoyed this little video and most of all I hope it will help you to improve your trills. Feel free to transform these ideas and apply to your own practice routines. Also, don't forget to check my website, my Facebook page and Instagram for updated concerts, practice tips and practice routines. Practice well and I'll see you in the next one.